Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kids Church. I'm so excited that you could join us here this morning. This month, we will be learning about what pleases the Lord. This week, we will be learning about obeying. When we obey people in our lives and we listen to them, like our parents, we also obey God. When we do these things in our lives, it makes God so happy. Today we'll have a Bible lesson together. We'll do a craft and we'll get to worship God. But first of all, let's stand up on our feet and worship God together. Hi kids, how you doing? I hope we're all doing so, so very well. My name's Johnny and today we're all going to sing together and worship God. So if we all want to stand, stand up and we'll get straight to singing. All right, everyone, now that we're all standing, let's sing and dance to a song I like to call, I've Got Peace Like a River. Everyone ready? Cue the music. Now, I want to see everyone dancing, singing, and smiling with all their heart. Come on, kids. Everyone ready? Let's go. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Yes, I do. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. What else you got? I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul, yes I do. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river, I've got peace, love, and joy like a river, I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. Come on, kids! I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. Wow. Well done, everyone. Great job. Oh. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi! Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel! Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel! Bye, Mom! And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli! As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel! Huh? And again Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time. Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. 
God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God, and he listened when God spoke to him. Hi kids! Today we are going to be making this really cool listening craft. It has the verse Samuel 3.10 on it. Speak for your servant is listening. And on the other side it has listening for God. For today's craft you will need the printout which has two pages to it. Some crayons or pens, some scissors, and some sellotape, or some glue. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to take your scissors and start cutting out the printouts. Once everything has been cut out, you can take your crayons or your pens and put a bit of colour on the printout. Next, you're gonna get your sticky tape or your glue and the two rectangular parts of the printout you're gonna to stick together in the middle. This is gonna be the headband of the craft. So you may wanna put it round your head or get an adult to help you do this. So you make sure that it fits around your head. Then we're gonna stick the ears to the headband. And what you wanna do is fold the paper bit down so then we can stick it on to the headband. Thank you. 
Hey kids, welcome back. The next song we're going to sing is Father Abraham. So let's just jump straight to it. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg. Father Abraham and many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Father Abraham and many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, nod your head, Father Abraham, and many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, nod your head, turn around and sit down. Well, well done, kids.